What is going on YouTube? This is IDCL yet again coming at you with some more Black Ops 2. But this time I thought it'd be nice to make a tip video for those of you who struggle in Black Ops 2 or Call of Duty period for that matter. Now I'm going to break this down into four tips that's going to help you get better. Now these tips are for the average Joe. For people who can't seem to get no more than 15 kills per match. This is not for people who average like 25 and 7 or nothing like that. You're already on the right path. But for those of you who want to put better scores up on the board so at the end of the game you can at least look good. Now just to let you know, these clips may not correspond exactly with what I'm saying. Because the clips are at random. Without further ado, let's get into it. Tip 1. In order to get good at Black Ops 2, you have to understand what type of game it is. This is Call of Duty, so it's an arcade based shooter. You have to understand that there's really no realism in this game at all, so you can't treat it like that. You have to expect that bullshit will happen, and it will happen often. Now the key is to use that to your advantage, and there are multiple ways to use that to your advantage. Tip number two, pick a weapon and get used to it. One thing people overlook in Call of Duty is to build chemistry with your weapon. Yes, I know it's Call of Duty, it's very unrealistic, but in every first person shooter, including Call of Duty, it's best to build chemistry with your weapon. And this can be triggered by something that even the, the sound of the weapon, or the feel of it, or even the look of it. When I play Black Ops 1, I like the AUG more than any other gun in that game, simply because of how it looked and how it sounded. Not its firing rate, not its accuracy, none of that, but because of how it sound and look. Now one thing to understand is that in Black Ops 2 in particular, the SMG is the king family of this game. Usually it's the assault rifles, but in Black Ops 2, understand that the SMG is king. And the weapons that I use in particular as a favor would be the MP7 and the Vector K10. Now these two guns are pretty much at the beginning of the SMG class. So they're not hard to gain access to and they're great guns. Now the MP7 in particular has been called overpowered multiple times and called underpowered multiple times. The key is to not pay attention to what people say in that matter, but just use the gun that you feel best with. Tip number three. Know your style. And it's very vital that you understand what type of player that you are. Are you a runner and gunner or are you a patient shooter? Me in particular, I'm a hybrid, but mostly I'm a runner and gunner. I play this game like an apex predator. I'm always hunting like a tiger. That's why I prefer guns like the MP7 or the Vector K10, because they're perfect for that matter. Now, assault rifles may be outclassed by the SMGs in this game, but they still play a big role when you play the patient role because they have longer aim and a more patient type of way of firing. And I don't think I'm saying patient as meaning camping. Camping is something that I see as a cheap method to get kill streaks. And it's always been that way with me. Some people would argue different, but that's the way I see it. Playing the patient role is not camping. It's knowing when to shoot and when to move, and the more slowed down matter. So are you a runner and gunner, or are you just patient? Tip number four, how to get better accuracy. Now, if you're horrible with accuracy like I am, then this tip really will help you a lot of ways. Try using this method. This is a method that I call the shoot to aim method. It's when you're firing from hip before you go into aim instead of aiming before you go into fire. And there's many occasions where you're going to have to aim before you fire, but trust me, to shoot to aim will benefit you in hundreds of situations. What you basically do is you start busting your shots before you even push down the left trigger or L1. What this does is that it forces your sights to adapt to that play. Now, as you know when you hit fire, it seems like your bullets will magically attach to the enemy. Well, this is how you use that to your advantage. As if you're going into a hit fire, just start shooting at the person. It could be a short distance, a medium distance, or a long distance. Start busting your gun without aiming and then pick up the aim. Bam! It's gonna set you in the right position to where you're still gonna have to work a little bit but you're gonna have much better accuracy and it's more so as a help. And that may be the most vital tip for aiming I can give you because it has helped me on so many occasions. Well, these are just a few of my tips to help me become a better Call of Duty player and I hope it can do you the same. 
This is IDCL, and I'm out. Peace.